Today I'm going to make Leatherface Leo, a reimagining of the Sewer Slash in TMNT from the 90s toys. So I have a NECA, well knockoff NECA Leonardo and a NECA Leatherface from Chainsaw Massacre. And the first step is to take them all apart because I'm just going to really kitbash them together till I get a turtle a Leatherface Leo. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. So I heat it up with some boiled water and that makes everything soft and come apart easily and I put the uh, shins and feet and forearms and hands of Leo into the rest of uh, the, well, the body and um, half of the limbs of Leatherface because it's really important that he be dapper. You know, Leatherface, as much of a disgusting monster as he is, he is well dressed can't argue about that. And to sculpt that kind of or make clothes for Leo is much harder than just cutting out the back of this and putting a shell on. But I need the neck to be thicker so I mixed together a bunch of epoxy sculpt and I made the neck bigger as some muscles and put a ball on the top of the well the, that's where the head's gonna go because the head fits in differently between the turtle and the leather face. So with the rest of the epoxy sculpt, I put a bunch in the shell so that I can fit it on where I want and it'll stay. And I also added a super glue to hold some other spots so it stays nice in place, and especially when that um, epoxy sculpt dries, because with that I can really place it where I want if I want it higher in one side or the other because it molds underneath. And with the hot water, the um, hair and the front of the mask came out a lot easier than I thought so I'm just gonna put it on to Leo. So I had to cut up the hair a bit to make it fit and cut out a spot for the bandana back because the bandana is gonna stay on. I glued that down and I glued the hair down and with some of the pieces I cut off I added underneath the uh, bandana. So that's the original Leatherface Leo and um, mine's gonna be more realistic and more true to the movie. They just did Leo's face and painted a couple black um, stitches like he sewed together his face on his face he just needed stitches but Leatherface has a uh, human skin that he turns into masks masks so I'm coloring with um, hunter green on the skin mainly I had to get the neck but I give all the skin a little bit of hunter green and now I'm just uh, burnt umber getting all the white spots from where I cut the hair and then also getting the rest of the hair so it all matches and um, did something else I don't remember what was it see he's a really creepy scary looking guy so with the piece I cut out of the shirt I'm filling in some of the gaps on his shell and then with the rest I cut them so it's like he cut a circle out of the back of the shirt so that he could fit it over his shell but the what he cut is just hanging down because he didn't cut the bottom because it fits better. Now I'm covering everything with a matte acrylic varnish. It's going to seal everything up that I painted but also get the rest of it ready for paint and make everything blend together and match because it all has the same finish. But I'm not going to paint the clothes. I'm just going to paint the tie. Now I cut up that uh, mask that he was wearing and I made it a bigger mouth so Leo's whole mouth can show and I kept the nose because if he's wearing human skin because you know he always wanted to be accepted by humans he would put a nose so that's why I did it like that it might have looked better if I just drew some black stitches but that wouldn't be true to the movie because the whole point is it's human skin so I had a neon blue but that was too translucent it wasn't really sticking on the tie so I switched to an ink ink spot it's called and that gave the blue that I want mostly just in that middle stripe so that it matches his bandana and you know it's Leonardo now I just got to put on his um, butcher's apron that's uh, before and after and he's ready to go he's got the chainsaw and um, it's that like a huge um, hook I guess yeah for hanging meat yeah, meat hook. That's what that is. So they're like two swords. He is dual wielding. And those are the other two I recently did. Um, Raph Voorhees and Donnie Kruger. So you can watch one of those now if you haven't yet. And next time is Halloween. Um, Mikey Myers. And until then, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.